Okay, what I want to do uh, in this uh, little screen video is to take you through the uh, the really important uh, functional aspects of Moodle so you can really dive in and uh, add content. Um, the next screen video I'll do, we'll talk more about uh, the delivery of the content, but right now I just want to stick with the um, technical issues. Step one. Uh, we want to turn editing on, okay? I've got it on right now. I'm turning it off. I'm turning it on. And when you turn it on, you can see all of the icons for uh, adding content, moving content, turning content on and off, uh, and deleting it. Uh, as I mentioned in our first session, uh, the very top module, the very top uh, module in Moodle, uh, is the informational module and that's where you always keep uh, content, uh, syllabi, grading policies, uh, websites that relate to the textbook, um, information about you, the instructor. Uh, you leave that up all the time. They always have access to that. As we move down, uh, each module, I want to stress this, each module relates to one lesson and one activity or one week or one topic. Um, so if you were teaching an eight-week workshop, you would have eight modules. If you were teaching a semester course online or as a hybrid, you would have 16 modules. So please keep that in mind. Each one of these relates to one lesson. So we are uh, wrapping up uh, session one, week one, in our uh, Teaching Photo Online workshop uh, where we're doing course familiarization and we're identifying exactly what course we want to teach. Uh, so next week we're going to talk about gathering uh, content, uh, photographic uh, lessons, tutorials, uh, things that we can use to incorporate into our courses. So we don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. Um, there's some great video. Uh, there's some great video uh, content out there that you can uh, get and incorporate into your class, embedded into your course. Uh, so that's session two, uh, session three, session four, session five. So the point here is each one represents a week or a topic or a lesson. Now, I want to really dive in specifically to how do I add content and where do I put it. So uh, the key things we want to remember once we turn on the uh, editing is we have add a resource, add an activity, Resources are things that we give our students, uh, websites, PDFs, lectures, videos, uh, files that help them achieve the goals and objectives of the lesson. The activities are things we want our students to do. Do we want them to send us files? send us photographs. These would be advanced uploading of files would be things we want our students to send us, but we don't want anybody else in the class seeing that or seeing the feedback that we give them. That would be advanced uploading of files. Um, we can also create a discussion forum, which I use in every module, and many of you would use the discussion forum uh, for having um, a, a, a discussion with the students for students to show uh, works in progress, upload pictures that they're working on where you could give them feedback, uh, students could give them feedback. So that's used a great deal. Um, and then we have uh, a quiz. You can set up a quiz, uh, you know, whether, whether it be on shutter speed, f-stop, uh, depth of field, uh, Photoshop, any of those type of things, you can set up a, a quiz there. I normally use quiz, I use forum, and I use advanced uploading of files. In resources, I add web page. Compose a web page is where I put my videos and I put my lectures. Or I might have a PDF or a PowerPoint. I would link that file. Or I might have a website that I want to take them to. So that's really what I use. Uh, in the resource, I use the uh, link to a file or compose a web page. 
So, for example, let's create a forum. So I would create a forum by hitting forum. And at the top, I would give the forum a name. And then I would describe exactly what do I want my students to do in the discussion. From there, I would subscribe everybody to it. And in my courses, they have to upload a lot of photographs, a lot of digital images. So I normally put about between 5 and 10 megabytes, depending upon. Of course, they're uploading 72 DPI or 100 DPI. Uh, they're not, you know, super high res. But I normally put between 5 and 10 megabyte uh, just to make sure there's plenty of uh, space for them to upload. Uh, if I'm grading, I'll put average of ratings. I use that for my uh, class participation. And then I would put 100, and I can give them a grade. Okay, once I did that, I would hit uh, save and display or save and return to course. And let me show you what that would look like. Uh, I use that um, each week we have one. So as you can see in week one, we have the assignment. And I'm telling you to, uh, asking you to go to the hands-on Moodle module and find your module with your name on it. And you're to upload a picture and give us the name of the, of the uh, assignment or the class. And I also want you to go to the familiarization discussion board. And this is where uh, many of you have already have told me, uh, you know, what course you want to teach. Is it a hybrid? Is it total? Remember, hybrids and blended are when we meet the students uh, at certain times uh, in the semester uh, so we can do our hands-on activities. Um, also, uh, is it a graded course or is it a non-graded course? And, of course, I asked you how much experience you've had teaching online. Uh, so you all posted to that. And uh, as you can see, also, you can add pictures. Uh, you can put many pictures into your posts, and this is a great place to do uh, students to send you works in progress on images, projects that they're working on. So that's the discussion board, uh, and if you're going to use a discussion board, you would set that up by clicking forums, okay? Uh, also, um, <clears throat> if you look at the, I can link to websites by just clicking. I've got one here called Blended versus Total Online Courses. And that takes you to a website that explains the difference between blended and totally online. So you can incorporate really good, excellent uh, web resources that relate to the lesson that you're trying to teach your students. And you can also put in a lecture. Here is something I created. Uh, right in the uh, text editor. I can put pictures, I can put links. Um, I can put videos. I can put podcasts. I can put all kinds of really cool uh, resources into these documents. Okay, so the main thing we want to do, once you've got your, let me take you over to the hands-on section. I'm going to turn editing. Well, I've got the t editing already on. Each one of you have a module. Some of you started putting some content into the module. Christopher's rolling with all kinds of good stuff for um, photojournalism, for example. So you're going to be adding activities, whatever they might be, as they relate to the lesson. And resources, uh, web page, videos, uh, websites that help the students achieve the goals and objectives of the assignment. Now, just to show you how to put a picture in, uh, I'm going to add a resource. I'm going to say I'm going to add a web page. And the text editor always looks the same. And remember, Firefox Internet Browser works best with Blackboard and Moodle. Unfortunately, Safari does not play nice at all with um, 
Blackboard, nor does it play nice with, with Moodle, so we need to use Firefox if you want to see all of the uh, functionality of the text editor. Uh, to or, uh, add a picture, you can either upload it from your hard drive, from your computer, or you can go on the web and grab a an image from Google Images and grab the, uh, the URL, and that's what I've done already. I'm just going to give you a little, uh, go back here and just go uh, test image, okay? Uh, showing how to add an image and all I'm going to do is I've already went to Google I've already gone to Google and pulled an image off and I'm going to click the add an image icon I've got the URL I'm going to paste that in there I'm going to give it an alternative name photography and uh, I can set the size. And normally in the Moodle um, box, I normally work with around 250 uh, by by you know 200, depending upon uh, if it's a if it's a uh, vertical or horizontal uh, format. And then I would, depending upon where I want it, I can also move it around once I get it in there. I'm just going to hit OK. And there's the image. I forgot. I need to put it more like that because it's vertical. And I can click on it and I can center it, for example. And then once I have it in there, I would hit Save and Display. And there's the image. And of course, I can go back and update the resource. And I can add uh, text and I can add, uh, you know, other information into that box so that's that's something important uh, to be aware of now and that's something you're all going to be doing so I'm just going to go back to that module and since it's nothing more than a test uh, oh I put it into a web page that's right that's right test image. I put it right here, you see. There it is. So I'm going to hit the X. No, cancel. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I just got rid of that picture. Okay, so those are some things uh, that hopefully will be helpful as we start our second module Wednesday night. Um, hopefully uh, you'll be able to add some content and an image uh, to your Moodle lesson module.